I talked uh, that uh, for making magnets, uh, the textbook says that you bring your magnet here and rub it and then lift it, bring it back, do it 15, 20 times and you get a magnet. Uh, suppose I just want to show that yes, it has become magnet by rubbing. I do not need a strong, strong magnet. What do you think? How many times should I rub the magnet? So that at least it can lift one one or two alkenes. Huh? Maybe hundred. Maybe hundred times. Maybe hundred times. Depends on my magnet. Also. Depends on my magnet. I, I use a regular magnet. What kind of magnet you have? Now you can estimate the strength of the magnet by how much uh, force you have to apply for separating them apart. Uh, otherwise, you will see that it is a very big magnet and therefore very strong magnet. It's not. Uh, you just see. Uh, easy? Okay. So, suppose I use this magnet for rubbing and uh, some smaller, smaller piece of uh, nail or something. Okay, okay. Piece. जहाँ काम आवेश हुई क्या करे तलवार? So this is the material I want to magnetize, and it should be able to lift another similar needle. So how many times do you think I should rub? Just give me a number. Guess. Four five times. Hundred? Two hundred. Twenty. Just just make a guess. <laughs> must be smaller than hundred, less than hundred. Yeah, what is the what is your guess? Fifteen. Fifteen. Okay. Let me try. Minimum is uh, one. So I give it one stroke. So I start. I rub. I rub, and that's it. Finish. खोलने जरा दूसरा फ्यूल उठाएं यहाँ रखें देखते हैं कितने बार में उठता है ओके वन रबिंग इज एनफ राइट In this compass, you have two ends. On one, you have an arrow. So you can identify which end is where. On one end, you have that half moon type of structure. Another is arrow. Okay? Which side is this arrow in this room? Just tell me this side, that side, that side, that side. This side is the arrow. Correct? Seen it? Let me take this magnet and just pass it here. Which side is the arrow? Which side is the arrow? Opposite side. <laughs> I have demagnetized it and remagnetized it. And how many times did I rub? No, no, I did not rub it at all. There is a glass over that. There is a glass over that needle. <laughs> so I did not rub it. And I made the permanent magnet. <laughs> Okay, permanently the direction is changed, right? Bring it back, should bring it back. Same forward. Same forward. <laughs> okay, there is a glass on the top, I have not touched it, I have not rubbed it. What I, why what I am showing all these things is that uh, we should get uh, more familiar, uh, I mean uh, more friendly to the phenomena. We have some notion that at least 20 times rubbing is necessary for creating even a weak magnet. Uh, that is not true, it is one time is enough and then as you say it depends of course on weak magnet, strong magnet, so how weak it is, how strong it is. So that feel of uh, numbers, uh, so that gives some quantitative friendship of the, the phenomena, for this we try to uh, 
emphasize these things. 